Hey, what's going on guys? Bringing you another LNTR Learn and Teach, and this week is about role models. And the source comes from a couple different places. Uh, one is listening to a podcast by my main man, Ian Lobos, on uh, the Men on Purpose podcast. And the second comes from a uh, audiobook I have uh, was listening to called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And uh, if you're in the military, you probably have read this or heard of it. Uh, or just an entrepreneur in general. Really, uh, really good self-help book, I will say that. But um, I kinda wanna take a different approach to role models because I think um, that the way that we approach role models is uh, a, a little whole, holistic rather than uh, should, like subjective. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean to take the good and leave the rest. So for example, in the book Can't Hurt Me um, by David Goggins, if you've ever heard anything or read anything about David Goggins, super athletic, super motivated guy. I mean, you know, crushing ultra marathons, you know, every weekend, um, and Navy SEAL, multiple tours in Iraq. I mean, just an amazing physical leader. And, uh, you know, he talks a lot, of, a lot about the internal fortitude that he had and his past experiences that kind of shaped the way that he... Um, you know, he grew up in the way that he viewed motivation, the way that he just kept pushing through with in his extreme perseverance almost in uh, a lot of the situations he found himself. And it was pretty inspiring. I mean, I went out and ran in like 20 degree weather after reading that book just due to sheer motivation and, and uh, um, you know, determination. And, but one of the things I, I caught in that book is that, um, you know, throughout his time, re, uh, throughout his you know, years that he was in the SEALs and doing these ultra marathons and even while reading the book um, one of the things that he kind of glanced over was the fact that he had been through multiple divorces the fact that he uh, you know had children and had a family what just wasn't there for them wasn't present with them and um, it, it kind of was blew my mind to think that you know yes this is super successful super motivated, uh, you know, great leader who wrote, you know, an amazing book for leaders of all sorts to be able to get through anything, essentially, um, would have such a uh, derelict view on family and just kind of nonchalantly talk about his, you know, multiple divorces that he had throughout his life. And um, it made me just think about more about how we treat our role models as like these perfect idols where they can do no wrong. Instead of thinking about the qualities or the traits that they imbue that we want to take on and shed the rest that we don't. So for me, you know, David Goggins was an amazing person. He's a, you know, a Navy SEAL, definitely worth reading his book and taking the lessons learned from it in terms of motivation, perseverance, getting through anything, finding your internal, your internal fortitude. And, uh, you know, basically just saying, you know, it can't hurt me. And, and having those mantras that he talks about in the book. But at the same time, not taking his family life, not taking you know his his lack of attention in that in that uh, manner, and that can be applied to any any role models that we have in life. I mean, um, it's probably controversial, but just look at Donald Trump for example, able to you know be a somewhat successful businessman throughout his uh, you know the past three or four decades, has multiple buildings to his name, you know a billionaire and successful in his own right in that regard. Also, you know became the president of the United States. Uh, but, you know, there's also some things that are um, not so um, not so good about him. You know, his, his methodology and his, uh, you know, his viewpoints towards his opponents, uh, how nasty he can get uh, talking about them, um, you know, his, his blatant disregard for the truth in some regards. I mean, there's a lot of things that are good and a lot of things that are bad about all of our role models, including individuals like, uh, you know, Donald Trump. Uh, but it's just needless to say, it's just if you have a role model, you don't always have to emulate every single thing that is, is you know, that they in, embody. Because not everyone is perfect and not everyone is, is uh, necessarily a 100% role model. You're not going to find a perfect person that's going to imbue every single ideal that you want to imbue in yourself. But you can find individuals that you want to mimic in certain regards. There might be individuals like Michael Jordan where you want to mimic his ability, his fortitude, and his uh, his drive and, and his success, you know, both in, on and off the court. You may want to uh, model guys like, uh, um, I don't know, like David Goggins and his internal fortitude. I mean, there might be some sports, you know, sports guys, might be politicians, might be, 
you name it, who you can imbue the good traits that they have and just leave the rest. So that's my two cents on role models. My teach for this week is about the two minute rule for habit building. And this comes from reading the Atomic Habits book that I've been reading over the past uh, couple, few weeks or so. And it's pretty simple. It's any habit that you're trying to start should start by only taking two minutes. And where does this come from? Well, you know, I think a lot of us have very lofty goals. Uh, let's say for working out, for example, I want to be able to bench 250 pounds or I want to go to the gym five times a week, or I want to um, you know, make a million dollars. And habits like that and goals like that are hard to manifest into you know, physical, um, you know, kind of individual things that you can do to get to that point. And for a habit to you know, be perfected, or for a habit to, to exist, or for a habit to be improved upon it needs to be able to start first and a lot of us you know have these lofty goals and just look at how new year's resolutions go you know it's been 12 days or two weeks into into the new year and uh, i'm sure a lot of people have already fallen off the wagon on the new year's resolutions why because we have these goals and these lofty you know expectations for what we want to do but we try to go you know super motivated super hard and make these you know big goals right off the bat and try to um start by going straight for those things and just instead of starting something small and something simple and so for example if you want to go you know five times a week to the gym start by doing something simple like putting on your clothes your gym clothes start by something doing doing something simple like going to the gym and working out for you know two to five minutes and then leaving and you just start to get into these beginning habits and it's not the you know the end state that you want to get to it's just the habit of showing up and the habit of showing up will, you know, become that habit and become that habit. And now your two to five minutes you're spending at the gym is like, well, I'm already here. Why don't I spend another hour working out? And that's the habit that you're getting into of just putting on your gym clothes, just going into the gym, sitting in the parking lot, just doing two to five minutes of working out, just talking to a broker, just talk, you know, building your, you know, um, forming your LLC, little steps like that that are really going to make an impact in the long run but it all starts with a two-minute rule of just starting the habit and starting something small something that's going to take you less than two minutes to do so with that i hope you have enjoyed this lnt we'll catch you guys next week on the lessons in real estate show